Welcome to Al Stocks. In this video, I'm going to give you the intrinsic value calculation of the Jumia stock. We're going to go 10 years into the future and discount at a 10 to 15% discount rate, utilizing a 2 to 4% perpetuity model dividing by the outstanding shares. This will give you an understanding on where the Jumia stock should be around based off of its fundamentals on how it is performing. If you would like to learn more about Jumia as a company, about what they do, please check out my Jumia video that I published yesterday in the playlist section. Now let's get straight to business. You can see we are looking at the fundamentals of the Jumia stock. I'm going to be using these numbers to find the intrinsic value of where the stock should be at in today's present value. The problem is, is when you look at the free cash flows and the net income of this business, it's negative. So it's very hard to find the intrinsic value. However, there is a trick to allocate future free cash flows based on the revenue growth. The problem though, is that the revenue growth hasn't been what we've seen when you compare it to other e-commerce platforms. They're just not growing as fast. I want the stock to win. A lot of people want the stock to win, but they're not delivering. They had an 8.5% year over year growth when it came to their revenue. That's really unacceptable, but I'm going to be optimistic here. I'm going to be using their 28% orders increase to calculate what the value of the stock should be. Another thing that I want you guys to notice here is look at the revenue multiple. You see a lot of other e-commerce companies such as C Limited, Mercado Libre, they're trading at a higher revenue multiple when you compare it to Jumia. So Jumia is trading at a lower revenue multiple, but still year over year revenue growth is really unsatisfactory. And a lot of people were looking at some massive growth and we may not be able to see that until 2023. Who knows? We may not even be able to see that in general. If you would like access to this calculator, it'll be in the description box below and in the pinned comment sections. To do this trick, I'm going to first use this workspace here to write down the revenue multiple and multiply it by 5%. These are the numbers that you saw in the previous slide. So it's going to be 112, 149, 180, and in 2020, they made 172 million. 5%. So we're going to take this 112, multiply it by 5%, 149 million, multiply it by 5%. 180 million percent and 172 million multiplied by 5%. And we're going to take this estimated free cash flow and we're going to go ahead and put it within here. It doesn't matter where you put it in terms of the year. They, it just takes the average. So now that we have the average, as I stated, we're going to be using the 28% estimated short term growth rate, which I believe it's generous considering the numbers that they're putting at now. So as soon as you do this, 28%, you can see the numbers update here. So essentially what we're doing is we're going 10 years into the future, discounting at a 10% discount rate, utilizing a 2% perpetuity model divided by the number of outstanding shares, which is 99. So as of right now, the value of the stock should be $6.45. Now, again, that may come as a shock to you guys. Like, no, it can't be. This is a $60 stock. The problem is we are currently in an inflationary time with economic uncertainty. In fact, we have to apply a discount rate of 15% because of these economic uncertainties that we have with the feds tapering their monetary stimulus. However, since we are during inflationary times, I do have to upgrade my perpetuity growth rate to 4% because the CPI data came back at 6.2%. Let me show you here. As you can see, the CPI data came at 6.2%. So if you go ahead and do the normal target 2% and 6.2, the halfway point will be 4%. So I'm going to do that. And the most that honestly that this stock is currently worth based off of its revenue multiple is $8.06. A lot of individuals, including myself, were hoping that Jumia performs and gives us a 50% year over year growth. In fact, if you put this in the calculator, like a 55% year over year growth, the intrinsic value of the stock comes around $49.36. I mean, guys, that's exactly what it was trading around during those times because we had so much faith in it. However, it is losing investors faith. Who knows? We might be able to see those revenue growths. The company might be able to capitalize on this unexpected trend line that they saw in an increase in sales growth. We have to factor in a taper and a future interest rate hike. And because of that, we have to use a 15% discount rate. By utilizing a 15% discount rate, it shoots down the stock to $20.11. Assuming inflation is transitory and we get back to what Federal Chairman Jerome Powell says, target 2%, 
we can change this perpetuity growth model and as soon as you change it, you get $17.65. However, a lot of investors right now, what they're doing is they're saying, man, I really do not think Jumio is gonna be growing at 55%. Heck, I'll be lucky if it grows at 50%, which is right around where this stock is trading at, at around the $14, $15 range. See, so honestly, you gotta be careful right now. From my experience, these are the numbers that I'm using. I'm using a 10% discount rate with a 28% year-over-year growth with a 4% perpetuity model. And as of right now, this is the worth of the stock until proven otherwise. This, this company needs to prove to me that they can have a revenue growth. They need to show me that they are able to scale up and they need to show me the pudding. They need to show me the proof. This company has not proven to me that they deserve my capital. And I hope that this is how you invest, that you just don't swipe up on Robinhood, that you utilize fundamental investing and analyze stocks based off of their fundamental values and not utilizing your amygdala and trading based off of emotion. If you made it this far, consider liking, subscribing, and turning on all notifications. Thank you so much for joining this community. It means the world to me, and I cannot wait to provide you more content. See you on the next one.